Hey guys, I'm Ted and I'm here to give you another fast fact and for today's fast fact we will discuss the Democratic National Convention uh, of 1860. Now William Yancey, a noted fire eater uh, that, that is a pro-slavery uh, supporter who believed that there should be no compromising on the issue of slavery, he uh, in January of 1860 persuaded the Alabama Democratic Party uh, to demand that the National Democratic Party give protection to slavery in the territories. He captioned that if the National Democratic Party did not, that the delegates simply walk out of the convention. He championed what later happened in Charleston and again in Baltimore. He championed it. He first proposed it. Uh, William Yancey. Now... What he not, not, and, and what he did was he said and played volatile emotions. Now, the Democratic Party had been the majority party since the days of Andrew Jackson. There were platforms, there were two platforms really to choose from. The Yancey platform would call for unrestricted access to the territories uh, and the Republic for, for slave owners and their, and their property. Uh, and, uh, and the Douglas platform which called for popular sovereignty in the territories and a, and a waiting for a definitive decision from the Supreme Court on whether or not the slavery should be allowed to have territories or not, whether or not Congress could really decide on something like that. Um, all those issues were tied up into the Douglas platform. Now, Northern Democrats were not, were not willing to go further than that. And at the convention, they held a majority. The, the Northern states always held a majority to, uh, to southern states. Free states always held the majority to slave states. Um, at the convention, voting was entirely sectional. With uh, and, and because there were more free state delegates, Douglas won. Uh, afterwards, 49 delegates from eight slave states walked out of the convention. They adopted the Yancey platform and waited to see what would happen. Now, Douglas was only able to, ga to gather a simple majority of the remaining delegates, uh, not the two-thirds majority needed to become the official party uh, nominee. Now, this the same division would occur uh, again uh, at the Baltimore Convention. Now, this time, 110 slave state delegates walked out. At this point, the Democratic Party was split in two, would free with a free state wing nominated nominating Douglas and a slave state wing nominating John C. Breckinridge. And there you guys have it. That is my quick summary recap, my fast fact uh, on the Democratic National uh, Nominating Convention of 1860. Uh, the divisions within this within this uh, convention paved the way for Lincoln's eventual victory at the poll. Uh, and it really just felt that the death knell of that party had a whole, had a national party. It would take many years uh, for the Democratic Party. Really, it would the Democratic Party would, would lay in splinters until after Reconstruction ended. Um, but we're jumping a bit ahead of ourselves. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed the the video. Hit like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know. Let me know what you thought about it. And as always, I'm Ted, and I will see you guys next time for another fast fact.